Greetings from Tucson, Arizona. My name is Andrea, and I'm here with Jubing Hodge, tea master and owner of Seven Cups Tea House. Welcome to our audio slideshow on tea production, beginning with the original oolong tea grown in the Wuyi Mountains in the Fujian province in eastern China, known as rock oolong. In fact, the Wuyi Mountains are comprised of 99 different rock formations, each with their own name and characteristic. Through time and weathering, these rocks have yielded soft soil from which the oolong tea bushes grow. They are supplied with good quality water source from the Jiu Chui Shi stream. And unlike high quality green tea that is picked in March, the spring season for rock oolong is in May. The tea pickers begin early, around 7 a.m. to start to climb the mountain. Before the first harvest of the spring, there is a ceremony for the tea gods in which the caller gathers the tea pickers around and very loudly and proudly announces that they recognize it is springtime they are prepared to harvest the crop with great thanks. It is tradition in China to burn yellow paper in honor of gods and ancestors, and this is done at this time to offer thanks from the heart. The best time to pick oolong tea leaves is in between 9 and 11 a.m. At this time, there's not direct hot sunshine, and the dew has evaporated. In fact, if it is raining, there's too much direct sunshine or too much dew, the, teas, the tea leaves will not be picked. The standard for picking is three to four long leaves to create a rich, robust flavor that is quintessentially rock oolong. The tea leaves are collected in bamboo baskets and gathered all together before going down the mountain. Before the end of the first harvest, there's an ending ceremony in which a firework is lit to send the gods home. Once at the tea factory, the fresh tea leaves are placed on fabrics outside to begin the withering process for about a half an hour to two hours, depending on the weather. The tea leaves will continue to lose moisture as the withering process goes indoor on bamboo trays for eight to 12 hours. It takes great skill and expertise to craft rock oolong tea. And in the following slides, you will see Mr. Liu Guaying processing the tea. He begins by every one to two hours taking the bamboo tray, shaking them so that the tea leaves edge and surface can rub together. This allows the tea juice to come out and the oxidation to continue naturally. He will then gently move the tea leaves to place them evenly on the bamboo tray so the oxidation is even. He will continue shaking and separating five to seven times Depending on how the tea aroma has changed, he will know what step to do. This create, uh, Once again, this takes great expertise, and when he knows by smell that it is time to stop the oxidation process, he will immediately place the tea leaves in a 240 degrees Celsius wok to begin the hand frying stage. After frying for about two minutes, he will begin to knead the tea leaves. Over 20 times, more tea, tea juice will come out, and the twisted shape will be created. He will repeat the frying and kneading process for shorter periods of time. It is inevitable at this time that some of the leaves will become broken. In fact, these leaves are fresh young leaves and have a rich flavor. The next step involves baking the tea leaves, traditionally using bamboo charcoal, with a hot temperature for 15 minutes, then removed and cooled, then baked once again at a lower temperature for two to seven hours, once again based on the expertise of the tea master. At this time, you will, be get, you will begin to see the tea leaves in its original look, which we call Mao Cha. Then, the tea leaves and sprigs are separated into different grades. To easily judge the tea flavor, the tea masters will use five grams of tea leaves to judge the robust flavor. In the final slide, we see Mr. Leo with his teacher, the famous rock oolong tea expert, Mr. Yao Yui Ming. And although he has passed on, we are deeply grateful for his dedication and his passing of his legacy to his students so that we can all continue to enjoy tradi traditional rock oolong tea. Until next time, we offer great health, happiness, and of course, fine tea. We welcome your questions and comments, so please visit us at 7cups.com and we will answer any questions you have about tea and tea culture.